Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in central Scotland. And to this, today I'm filming another of my 100 easy cards that all should have some Knight of Navy in them somewhere. Sorry, I'm just getting this stamp pad a bit of a wipe. I need to actually go over them all. I think I need a little bit of alcohol on my wipe so that I get all the gluey bits off. Anyway, that didn't come on here to show you me cleaning an ink pad. I came on to make a card. So I have two stamp sets at the ready. The background stamp, Falling Snow, just hit my desk on Monday. So I am eager to stamp with it. And I've got Shepherd's Care out again. I absolutely adore this stamp set. It's the image. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I have already done a card with it on a live a couple of weeks ago. If you look back, I used it with the Splendid Autumn paper. And I am thrilled with the card I made. So, it's, yeah, just go back click on live videos when you go in my channel and just go back two or three weeks I think it is you'll see the image anyway so let's without any further blathers let's make a card so we've got some smoky slate and night of navy does that surprise you <laughs> I've got two layers of white that I'm going to stamp on I'm going to pop my layers out of the way for the moment and I've got smoky slate ink and night of navy because that is what stamping up is so good for is the matchy matchy i've got the card that matches the inks and yeah that is if it's it, they have everything else we've got alcohol markers st a mark just normal marker pens we the papers everything all coordinates it's just fab so for the background on this card and it's an easy composition this card i've got the pop these up. i've got the stamps already on blocks right, so i've inked up this beautiful star now i have seen some beautiful things made with this um my friend Stamp with Nelly has done some lovely cards incorporating this with the what is the the Yuletide Village, and she's white embossed this stamp set, which I will be doing at some point in the future. Actually, I'm going to do a slightly different thing. My hands are not so good today, and that block is heavy, so I really could have left this in the stamp case sometimes if you've got a large background stamp I have already put it on the block but to be honest if you like me sometimes your hands don't want to hold something very heavy but this block is considerably heavy Have I got another block? I just want to make sure. Just that the paper touches the stamp evenly. Right, now we'll lift it off. And there we go. We've got beautiful stamping. My ink needs re-inked. But I'm okay, that is fab. Where will I put this? Well, there, <laughs> there's my box for cleaning stamps, so we'll just put that over there. And then we'll stamp the smaller image. So this is inspired by someone called Cindy Carter. I saw on Pinterest, however, in her pen that there are no links 
to a blog. There's no website address or anything. So I can't, I'm unable to um, link her to, to anything. But Cindy Carter, C, Cindy with a C, Carter with a C. So I am inking up the shepherd image with smoky slate and then I'm just simply going to pop it on my paper which is six centimeters by ten centimeters but you can easily measure up the image and if you want to change that to inches oh how gorgeous is that Sometimes there's just artwork that just wows me all the time. And then what I did see when I, I went to Cindy's um, Pinterest boards, she also has pinned another one, which is similar to the one I saw. This one I'm choosing to use this larger sentiment praying that you feel the good shepherd's care in this season and throughout the coming year and another one she has used peace on earth in the same way she her card is much more elaborate than mine she's got gold embossed gold and she's put the star in etc she hasn't used that background oh now i have inked that up the wrong color oh dear I do it all the time because I'm blathering, not concentrating. Back to that. Right, here we go. Ink it up. Now, my ink pad needs re ink, so I'm kind of going around the edges to make sure whichever bit's got ink. <laughs> I think I must have enough. I just have to be careful I don't have a halo as well. Praying that you will feel the Good Shepherd's care in this season and throughout the coming year. Love. I, I just think that it's such a beautiful image and such a beautiful sentiment there really doesn't need much else. Oh, there is, there is, it needs a layer for inside. I wonder if I should just, I think I'll pop the star inside. Why not? The big star, the north star, I would think. The star in the east that the shepherds followed, the kings followed. Right, we'll just do it in night of navy because, well, we can't, shall we? No, we won't. We'll do it in smoky sleet. Make it a bit more discreet. This is an easy card that's taken ages because I'm just probably not had enough coffee yet this morning. I'm not really wound up properly. Let's just pop that there. And then leave enough room. To write a personal message. Depending on who I'm sending it to, I might choose to add the quote from Sam's. Right, now what's the chances of a glue that will work this morning?
Goodness knows what I've got on the back of that card. Goodness knows what you get on my desk. No matter how often I clean it. And no matter how often I have showers, wash my hair, clean my hands, <laughs> I still end up covered. Within 10 minutes, at least, sometimes much sooner than that. Right, and then my bone folder just to... So if you would like to purchase any of the products I demonstrate, you can do so by going to my online shop at jazzledazzle.stampinup.net If you want to talk to me about anything, just email me at janice at jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk just makes this being you know a very simple it's not quite it is quite a clean card i think can we have clean and easy or clean simple well it's quite simple just stamping Uh, must have moved that very slightly it's just a bit squiff but by the time I put this on which I can do with dimensionals and I will do with dimensionals on this one, just to get take it up a wee notch as you see you could add embellishments you could add ribbon you can add what you like I don't I think I might just got one idea for an embellishment of a simple embellishment if you just bear with me. So I don't think that will collapse in the post. Oofed. Pleasing is that? Am I the only one that loves that image or do you love it too? I'm just thinking to go with the simple uncomplicated theme. Have I got, I might have one open or no, I, I, I remember taking the old one out and putting it in a different box. me. Alright, so where's my take your picture? Here we go. I am quite simply just going to put one there. And it can be a symbol for the star in the east. That is that. So thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for making it this far in the video. I hope you like this. Please let me know if you like it as simple as this. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.